All right. So game one, going into game one, uh, we got. Oh, he's going Cloud again. I don't know if he's actually like picking back up Cloud or if he's just playing him for tonight or you know what. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so looks like he's just spacing her away with Bear, and now he's doing uppers like crazy. You know, normal Cloud stuff. Interesting. What's up, Dewey? Nothing much. Not my bad. All right, we got Dewey joining us for commentary. What's up, stream? Um, so far, it's been pretty commandingly for Muse, but that's just because you know. Cloud. So yeah, we got limit on deck. We got Limit on deck, uh, don't know if he's going to go for another finishing touch, or if he's going to... I don't know. <laughs> what do you think, Dewey? Hmm. Oh, that. Oh, that works. I guess he's just going to hold on to Limit. Maybe a stylish point at the end? I don't know. It's Muse is just gonna kill him at 50. Muse, Muse is an, enig an, an enigma to me. So, yeah. That was a really nice pivot. He like landed and pivoted. So, yeah. I expected the finishing touch there. Oh, well, Ooh. cross slash is right there. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Yeah. Game one going to Muse. And his cloud and his ginormous buster sword. What are you doing? Ah, uh, could be better. Looks like Kaze is contemplating the switch. It could be Shulk. Maybe. I always enjoy watching Kaze play Shulk. Yeah. So. But honestly, um, what I feel like what Kaze could have done is uh, he could have just like been just waiting for him to like throw out a move and then you know doing his back air because like whenever he does back air as Palutena, it's the shield is invincible. Yeah. So he can't really do anything against it, right? Ooh, Greninja maybe? Hashtag Nindict. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. We get to see his Greninja. I saw Puffin, Nindic, like, don't take throw. notes. I saw Puffin like, please don't throw this. Alright. There's been a plethora of Greninjas showing up lately. Like, Diverse is a pretty good one. Wyatt's is really good too. I don't really know if I've watched Kaze's. Along with Mark too. Like I've been seeing a lot of hearts. Yeah. Mostly people picking him up as secondary, but... Yeah. He seems to be pretty... He seems to be, like, pretty spacing out well now. Because he has the water shurikens. I don't know if I agree with that option to uh, be that way. Because that was... Pretty free. Well, the other option is that he could have uh, finishing touch near the uh, ledge, and uh, Greninja's hitbox is pretty big on that uh, on the upbeat. So that is sorry. also that's also true. He could have been just caught. Yeah. It was either take damage or death, I think, on that. Yeah. Ooh, I thought he was gonna do an up smash there. He's doing a lot better this game. Yeah. And I don't know if uh, Greninja does better against Clown. Well, I, I think would, he was trying to go for the platform there, and then he just missed. I would assume Greninja does better. Right. Um... He's just holding... Oh, okay, well... I was gonna say, he's holding on to limit, but then he just threw it out, so... Randy Blade Beam. Randy Blade Beam. That was interesting. They kind of just floated there for a second. Oh wow. Oh. oh gosh, that would have been so risky. So uh 
Probably just, oh, finishing touch. Wow. That was really, really quick. Yeah. <laughs> Cloud for the 